Hello everyone and now welcome to a game Todd vs TGW. Todd spawning as the red human player on the top left hand side of the map. Meanwhile TGW spawning as well on, as the night elf over here on the bottom right. Human versus night elf in a 1v1 matchup. This is Shallow Grave 1.5 and let's see what we have in store today. Should be a interesting matchup to say the least. And for all of you guys out there, however however you may be watching, however you may be listening, thanks for tuning in. And if you are enjoying Warcraft 3 here in, well, 2023, um, you are not alone. And, well, let's continue to hope that Warcraft 3 continues to grow. Um, doesn't need to go back to the heyday of esports. And when I believe what... I don't know. I have fond memories of StarCraft Brood War back in the heyday um, where live tournaments and, and things of that nature, in-person events in stadiums was always a great thing. Pink Pony? Um, what? Pink Pony. Which one's the pink one? Uh, oh my gosh. Pinkie Pie. How can I forget pink, pink, Pinkie Pie is the pink pony? Anyways, Archer going to go ahead and get trained up here. Demon Hunter to follow up behind me. Maybe looking at Immolation coming in from behind. Meanwhile, Todd opening things up with an Archmage. And should be going into um, Archmage and Footman as well. Doesn't look like an Arcane Vault has been placed down. And there is a good number of Peasants. Um, so, well, 13 number 13 should be about the right number. If you were if you were not going to expand yeah i think once you go into 14 15 territory that's when expansion is definitely underway archer now using lightning shield applied by the renegade wizard in order to rack up quite a bit of damage this force troll is it going to get cleaned up by the lightning shield no beautifully done by tgw making sure that only one more shot is necessary to finish things off there the archer could have just dealt that little bit of extra damage to help that ancient of war but then again the ancient of war was wasn't really being repaired any longer and only eating up a couple of trees. Archmage picks up a gloves of haste here as militia now clearing out the remainder of this creep camp. Now, here on Shallow Grave, the Demon Hunter could effectively use this immolation to try and take down a multiple creeps. You can see all four of those creeps are pretty much taking damage from that immolation. And with that, well, they're all going to get cleaned up rather quickly. Demon Hunter now going to finish off the remainder of these Sea Turtles here, taking down one, two, and one final shot, three, as the Demon Hunter now, well, almost halfway to level 3. Back on the other side of the map, Archmage is going to be getting up to level 2. Has a couple of Militia over here as well. It looks like Todd wants to go for that expansion. And the Demon Hunter will be coming around here to try and put in a bit of pressure. Finishing out the last of these Forest Troll Trappers, even with normal damage. Difficult to take down as the Demon Hunter, well, is going to be coming across here. There's Immolation. And that is some damage getting racked up already. And um, one Footman getting taken out as... As he was ensnared, another one just trying to join in on the battle as the Demon Hunter is being forced to retreat back now. Demon Hunter is low on hit points, so it has to be careful, even though it doesn't take much mana right now and is effective damage overall. It cannot sit there and just take non-stop hits from ranged units. It's going to pick up that Tome of Strength for a little bit more hit points as the human army now setting up that expansion. An illusion off to the north still scouting about here does see a five peasant um well, a five peasant expansion underway meanwhile the demon hunter knows he cannot jump back into that fight unless he has some more hit points and i believe should be placing down that circuit of nobility picking it back up and with boots of speed ready to put on that pressure now we know that Demon Hunter has a little... Oh, well, is he actually going to be going for an uh, well, Immolation here? Yeah, so Immolation coupled with Wand of Illusion and Forest Troll Warlord. He's going to try and well, lose a little bit of that aggro, taking down that Forest Troll High Priest first and now racking up quite a bit of damage. That Forest Troll Warlord will end up getting taken down. Demon Hunter will get to level 3 here. And what is going to be his level 2 ability? It is, in fact, Immolation still. So level 2 Immolation, level 1 Evasion, Forest Troll Berserker now trained up. And with level 2 Immolation and a potion of greater mana, that Demon Hunter may be able to go simply over the top. Well, no, selling that a potion of greater mana for perhaps some additional items. 
well, nope, didn't pick up any new ones. Does have a Staff of Teleportation as the Archmage now ready to push on in here inside of the main base. Arcane Tower, um, is it going to try and get taken down here? Demon Hunter is not using, oh, finally using Immolation here. And now repairs are going to be tough. This Arcane Tower needs to get repaired and heavily. There it is. There's that Arcane Tower trying to feed back some of that damage. Demon Hunter looks as though he'll finish off one Peasant. There's two Peasants with that damage over time. But the Arcane Tower has greatly depleted this mana already. It is now down to zero. No more Immolation. Back at home. Um, well, inside the base here, we're going to be looking at four Stroll Berserker taking quite a bit of damage. Demon Hunter is going to try and engage here as we're looking at four Stroll Shadow Priest should have been the primary target first as it's already taken a hundred and or taken quite a bit of damage here. If you can take down that four Stroll Shadow Priest, Archer going to get taken down, Footman getting taken down as well. Both sides exchanging blows, 20 supply compared to 34 as the Demon Hunter really will need to be a one-man army as his army size is significantly smaller. Demon Hunter gets up to level four now. Are we going to be looking at Mana Burn? No, Water Elemental being drop down level two evasion there's a detonation there as the units are still retreating all the way back and forth inside here todd needs to set up some more peasants make sure that that expansion starts to really pay for itself meanwhile water elemental has gotten cleaned up here forest troll shadow priest and um, has been trained up as well one forest troll shadow priest could get taken down cause of attack plus nine doing some work here as we're still looking at more damage getting racked up here archman trying to get in front of this are we going to see that forest troll shadow priest getting taken down demon hunter scroll of town portal at the last possible moment footmen are going to be outside of that range as the forest troll shadow priest are now healing back up as well all right Four Troll Shadow Priest down to three hit points as a panda is now joining in on the fight here by TGW. Todd now going to have a little bit of an uphill climb. He needs to find a way to heal. No Arcane Vault as of yet. And that could have been that a major, major setback. Cloak of Shadows here. Todd perhaps it put himself in a very precarious situation without an without any arcane vault he has no way to heal up that archmage and has to consider where his opponent is before he tries to do any serious creeping meanwhile tgw looking to set up an expansion at the three o'clock spot archmage well hiding himself um, amongst his opponent's units that is a, a dangerous dangerous proposition archmage dropping in a water elemental and here we look at this archmage doesn't even have any escaping mechanisms at all demon hunter going to be inbound here this could be a very very bad deal as we are looking at the demon hunter perhaps trying to run away from or the, trying to chase down that archmage archmage however with boots of speed able to keep the race going but a footman may actually cause a little bit of path blocking nope able to dodge that once more now, it looks as though Todd is just feeding quite a bit of experience back over to TGW at this point and stage in the game as, well, there goes a Forest Troll Berserker. It's going to get taken down. And now we are looking at a Tree of Life getting rooted here. It is rooted in order to avoid any additional damage. Fortified Armor takes reduced damage from that piercing as the footmen were and the water elementals were trying to shut down this Tree of Life. Naga Sea Witch now ready to join in on the fight here. Perhaps going to make its way down to the south. Cold arrows could be used. No, no cold arrows shot. No shots fired this time around as we see the Tree of Life sitting at 508 hit points. Water Elemental trying to engage against that Footman. Footman going to get taken down by the Demon Hunter's Immolation once more as the Cold Arrows coming back around. All right, Tree of Life. Um, well, Peasants, if you can take down all of these Peasants, why, or sorry, not Peasants, Wisp, but why wouldn't you as they are not able to hide inside here? Perhaps of Vitality picked up by the Naga Sea Witch as the Footmen are now going to get shut down here. All right, another Wisp. Nope. The Wisp able to turn into a Moonwell, regenerate some hit points, and hide nicely on the inside here. As it feels like Todd is just feeding a bit too much experience throughout this matchup. Dual Arcane Towers here. Making sure that there's not going to be any easier harassment. Archmage comes back around trying to get in some damage. More footmen going to fall. Brewmaster sitting at two and a half already. Meanwhile, Naga Sea Witch just on the board with some basic, basic experience as Dryads are now joining in on the battle. Those Dryads are going to make short work of those water elementals once abolished magic is done. Meanwhile, Forest Troll Shadow Priest going to continue to perhaps abolish magic there, even though they are the level two variety and have a bit more hit points. There's a breath of fire, even though you can't see it as the panda continue to fight its way through there goes another footman here archmage nagasi was trying to retreat back nagasi which having plenty of items here as a dryad slow poison going to cause some problems as the nagasi which does want to try and get away all right demon hunter able to unable to close out on that distance easily as the dryad is also pulling up from behind as well dryads demon hunters moving across the map fast 
do we see any priest or any inbound heals priest is about to come online here potion of healing could be purchased as well there's the potion of healing as the units are now going to be well, heading back around now perhaps going after this um, dryad here dryad down to 80 hit points down to 10 hit points one more shot should be enough naga sea witch trying to catch up here are we going to see a shot fired by the naga sea witch to taste down that dryad no we are not as the dryad is just simply too fast water elemental now being dropped there more priests should heal back up and with the priest's presence the demon hunter uh, should not be able to easily take any of those units out panda however getting very close to level three and and will be able to expose a lot of damage to those sorceresses and those priests However, we could be looking at a transition into ranged units in Riflemen and perhaps even Spellbreakers. Spellbreakers are immune to magic, as I'm sure you are all well aware that Breath of Fire will not be doing any serious damage at all, as the Demon Hunter, now dangerously low at hope, on hit points and without mana, while actually well, forcing himself into a rather difficult spot. Are we going to see some repairs on the Scout Tower? Scout Tower down to 90 and um, well, du dual repairs is it going to be enough it is just constantly repairing there more militia being called back over and there is the repairs being done now all right panda just shy of level three now with that and um, as we're looking at the naga sea which getting up to level two has a potion of replenishment and also picked up a wand of mana stealing interestingly enough Meanwhile, Archmage is sitting at level 4 with level 2 Brilliance Aura to help top off the Spellbreakers, the Naga Sea Witch, the Sorceresses, and those Priests. Coming back down to the south here, Brewmaster does get to level 3 with no real problem. Ancient of War down to 39 hit points, nearly taken down. Demon Hunter gets up to level 5. Will it be level 3 Evasion? No, Staff of Preservation sends him home. Oh, no, Staff of Preservation sends the uh, Goblin Shredder home. I thought the Demon Hunter would have been sent home first as he can't gain any more experience <laughs> and now taking some from that precious Brewmaster. Rogue wizard about to get taken down a naga sea witch force troll berserkers getting cleaned up spellbreakers cleaning things up as well archmage is at four naga sea witch is at three and some strong items here both sides running up on two bases both sides having um well level three secondary heroes the big difference the demon hunter is at a level five already meanwhile archmage is only sitting at level four and it could come down to which items are going to be dropped Looks as though the Archmage and the Naga Sea Witch trying to go after this Overlord Creep Camp, perhaps picking up a useful, useful item. What's up for the long time no see? Spicy Pickle, yeah, long time no see here. As we're looking at the Archmage, now using a Scroll of Town Portal to head back, unable to clear off that Overlord there as damage is now racking up. Fork Lightning level 2 trying to finish things off there. There goes the Goblin Zeppelin, a drop inside the base as the Demon Hunter now using a Scroll of Town Portal to and well, save all of these units back here. 67 supply compared to 45 as TG... W ends up taking a bit of a hit and losing in that supply race. More peasants need to get trained back up here. Meanwhile, the Ogre Lord is getting or was getting healed back up by the Forest Troll High Priest. They have now all fallen back asleep. But the Archmage wants to make sure to clear up this remaining creep camp, perhaps get to level four on that Naga Sea Witch. Coming back around, Archmage. All right, all right here we go. Going to go and clear up that Overlord Nagasi, which should get to level 4 off of this creep camp as that Archmage now backs off the Medallion of Courage. Uh, strength and Intelligence item, perfect for that Nagasi, which a little bit more hit points and a little bit more damage and cast. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter trying to push back around does have Immolation Aura and that, or Immolation, and that is level 3. And you can see how quickly all of those units are, well, falling here. Spellbreaker trying to hold the door and does do exactly that demon hunter quickly surrounded normally hazardous to your health is the brewmaster going to get taken down down to four hit points down to three and ends up teleporting away you saw a fireball and a sorceress attack on their way over to that panda not going to really do anything there but well split second difference as that brewmaster ends up surviving Talk about some close calls and close shaves, but TGW is not out of the woods yet. He is still um, he is still falling behind in terms of army size. 
now with Todd sitting at 78 compared to his 50. Will he be able to build up a large enough army in a time? That is the question now as TGW finding himself getting pressured at his own expansion. All right, completing this wall off pretty much going to be difficult for the Demon Hunter and the Panda to try and waltz its way in here as additional towers are getting constructed as well. Well, I take it back. Demon Hunter quickly finding a way through the backside there. Going to go ahead and use Immolation, try and take down all of these peasants. Demon Hunter finishing off peasant after peasant. Breath of Fire coming back across as the Arcane Tower should actually be damaging the Demon Hunter now. Meanwhile, back down to the south side here, the expansion has already been cleaned up. We see some detonations, 58 supply compared to 74 as the mortar as one mortar team offering to do up uh, will serve up a lot of damage fly machines riflemen also getting thrown in here panda now turning into a little base race scenario as the well druids of the claw now in mastery training should be able to get off some rejuvenations and then turn into their bear forms and rack up more damage down to the south side here spellbreakers looking to finish off some of these druids of the talon or, or excuse me uh, ancient of winds one Fairy Dragon quickly getting cleaned up here as uh, Ancient of Lore um, trying to crank out more and more of those Druids of the Claw. One Druid of the Claw pops on out only to pretty much be instantly destroyed as TGW is now currently supply blocked at 49 over 50. All right, one expansion still up here. Plenty of farms acting as that front door, um, trying to hold off this onslaught as a swirl of town portal now inbound. 49 supply compared to 75. Mortar teams need to take down all of these moonwells. Panda does not have an easy breath of fire uh, until they tries to get into the back here. Mortar team still firing away. Bears are trying to engage here. And what is going on? Demon Hunter does have plenty of mana. Could well, no point in turning on immolation as bears are now coming in from behind as well. 75 supply compared to 46. Even with Moonwell support, it is going to be a bit of an uphill battle as these Druids of the Claw are going to go splat very quick. And you're going to see that supply drop on TGW extremely quickly. Archmage now trying to dance away here. Naga Sea, which gets up to level 5. And there goes a TGW realizing that his army size is just far too small. Todd being able to build up to a levels or a 70 supply army fairly quickly. And this army actually is larger than the overall supply would indicate since he only has eight workers at this time. It felt like he was holding steady at 70 supply with his army, but slowly he was just transitioning peasants from um, well, peasants in that supply count into a pure army size. And with that, with some mortar teams putting in pressure and being able to take down those buildings quickly, able to force the Squirrel of Town portal back and essentially win that base race. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below. Meanwhile, um, let's pull up the final scores. Pretty uh, winning, pretty much in every single category except for resources. Um, more har more lumber harvested by TGW. So perhaps having a little bit of a higher tech percentage overall. However, Todd being able to just have a much larger army, up to eighty one supply at some point, and then with those mortar teams able to well, easily easily pressure those buildings and take them out. Let me know what you guys thought. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.